The one thing about racing is if you don't challenge it, it's going to get worse. Uh, sure Racing Red Card was established to, to fight racism in society through anti-racist education. Um, and when, since it's been established, then it, the idea has be, remained to use professional footballers as anti-racist role models. And we believe that if you're going to change racist attitudes, you've got to engage people. The majority of the work we do is with primary children age um, 9 and 10. The main idea behind um, our workshops is to educate about racism. We want to try and tackle racism by getting young people to think about the language they use, for example, to think about diversity and that differences exist amongst everybody and that colour is only one of those differences. Uh, we want young people to be empowered to go out there and tackle racism in their communities. We think that one of the best ways to engage them is, is football because young people will listen to, to footballers. The aims and purposes of the football activities is actually getting them obviously to, to play as a team um, and to get them, not, it's not necessarily concentrating on football, um, it's concentrating on obviously having fun, getting them active, again getting them to move, um, working on the healthy side of it, um, working on team building, um, working on different exercises and also teaching them um, parts and parts of the muscles. It's about using football to combat racism um, and the, the, the central thing that the, the campaign is anti-racist education. We do a variety of activities in the classroom. Uh, we're very aware that children don't always learn in the same way so we try and um, do activities that are very practical, we try and do activities that are very interactive, uh, we also do activities that are discussion based because we really want to try and build empathy with young people so that they really at least try to understand the effects that racism can have. So. We want to have fun as well, so we play games and we do brain gym and we do fun stuff where they get to run around. Do you think that show race is the red card to visit other schools? Yes, yes definitely. Because really there's a lot of racism that goes on in England and, it, and we need to like, get this message across. I feel that the day has worked really well. The majority have been absolutely um, motivated, enthused, and the fact that they were willing to stay in their classroom when lunch was being served and it was chips um, really shows that they were dedicated and keen to stay. It's four fun, it's we're active all the time and you learn We evaluate you know, all, all of our work on a yearly basis and at, at the annual review has a look at what, what the successes have been. We've had a big external evaluation um, of our Scottish school competition um, and then we have regular team meetings that look at you know, what's been working and what hasn't been working so we do an internal evaluation. We do sometimes pre-questionnaires and post-questionnaires and, and usually we see some fantastic results to show that the work has changed young people's attitudes. We also do general feedback on workshops where we see what they engaged with the most, what was enjoyable, and if they can tell us things that they've learned. I would say it's for them to stop calling the Chinese chinky and then to call them by the proper name and respect other people that are different skin colour. It is literally another form of bullying, and I have been bullied wow. before. How, how does it make you feel? Sad, scared, just lonely. It's um, always tell someone before you start dealing with it.
because if you start dealing with it, you can get hurt. So. It's good to know, like that, like even famous people um, are showing, like, good work against racism. Because if people try to copy the idols, so if if like famous people are not being racist, then the majority of people won't be. Anti-racist education needs to be a priority. The fact that I can walk into a secondary school and ask a 15-year-old what they think of a Muslim, and for that 15-year-old to tell me that they think that Muslim's a bomber, a terrorist, a Paki, that's telling me that this work, there's much, much work that still needs to be done. Sure racism, the red card. If, if somebody was to say, how, how do you measure your organisation's success? I would say that, you know, that we know from talking to teachers and from the, the, their own work that we do that we made a difference, work, that, we, that we are changing attitudes. Show racism, the red card. Um, and we're very, very good value. We're, we take very little resources to do a lot of work. We don't want to be approaching schools and asking them to pay for the service because we need everyone to be as open as possible to receiving this message and that's why we really need the backing from um, external authorities to ensure that the work can continue. From the point of view of, of what we do, there's nobody out there that does anti-risk education um, in the way we do it. Visit most schools.